Amazon. Love them or hate them, they do everything nowadays. That being said, it wasn't without some hesitation that I ordered the Amazon Basics pencils. I've been spoiled with black wings and Tombows and burned with crappy off-brand stationery before. I really wasn't sure how these were going to hold up. This pack of 30 cost me the princely sum of £5.49, making it about 18 pence per pencil. Interestingly, on Amazon.com you can buy a full gross, that's 12 packs of 12 or 144 pencils, for just 9 dollars that's dollars, which evens out around 7 cents a pencil. These are made in the Philippines, so if I had to guess, they're all being made in the same factory and we're just paying for the extra shipping. Interestingly, there does not appear to be an option to buy in larger packs here in Europe. So it's a pretty typical yellow office pencil, unassuming and pedestrian. The imprint is black on the smooth and even lacquer and successfully hedges its bets by calling it both a number two and an HB pencil, ensuring comprehension on both sides of the Atlantic. They are eraser tipped and my box came pre-sharpened. The factory sharpen is what you would expect from a mass produced pencil, though it is significantly smoother than some of the really nasty pencils that I have used. Nevertheless, the point is short and neat, sometimes with a little flat top. Definitely not my normal cup of tea, but perfectly adequate for most people. There was a little variation in the length, though not by much, and all my pencils were intact upon arrival, which is more than I can say for some of the other cheapo knockoffs. The eraser is latex free and does a pretty decent job of eradicating marks. But as with many eraser tipped pencils, it will inevitably run out before the graphite does, leaving you with an empty, soulless, sad and despondent metal ferrule. They actually sharpen pretty well. I can't find any information about what wood is being used, though it's likely basswood or cheap pine. So there can be a little bit of tear out sometimes, especially when using a long point sharpener. These are not a premium pencil, so please do not expect a premium experience. They don't smell like cedar, and they probably won't give you a satisfying long curl of sharpen. They will, however, mostly sharpen properly without breaking. Ah, the all-important area. How do they actually write? Surprisingly well, actually. I have my reservations when I ordered them, but they do in fact punch above their price point in terms of writing feel. Compared with Blackwing 602, you can definitely feel a little more green and drag on the paper. But they're surprisingly usable. The finish is nice in the hand and all my pencils are straight and even. Would I want to write anything long or meaningful on them? No, probably not. But they are good for kids, people who act like kids, or totally normal situations like writing notes at the bath. Yes, that's actually a thing. Most people will be aware of a number two or an HB pencil, and will have some understanding of what that looks like on paper. Pencil darkness falls on a literal spectrum, the European HB system and the simplified American number system. An HB pencil is typically close enough to be functionally identical to a number two pencil. The problem is that none of the manufacturers actually agree on what HB or number two is. So you can actually have dark HBs and lighter HBs, which is just fantastic. So much for specification. Typically though, American and Japanese pencils tend to be a little darker in their defaults, while European pencil manufacturers tend to go a little bit lighter. This Amazon Basics pencil follows this convention and appears, at least to me, a little darker than an HB Stedelijk Norris. And both are of course blown out of the water by the Blackwing 602. An HB pencil is Goldilocks in terms of erasability. Not too hard, not too easy. I don't tend to erase all that much, but the Amazon pencil won't cause you any strife if you decide your words need a healthy dose of revisionism. It's quite resistant to smudging and would probably be a good choice for lefties as well. So for a cheap, mass-produced pencil, the Amazon Basics is surprisingly capable. It's not going to win any points in the aesthetic department, but it's a solid, relatively dependable workhorse that asks for no special treatment and performs all its expected duties with consistency. It could sharpen better, write nicer, erase more cleanly, and feel more premium, but 
that's not what it's for, nor what it's trying to be. Faced with the choice between garbage bargain basement cheapo nope sticks and these, I think I would pick Amazon every single time. If you like pencils, then these are unlikely to excite you too much. But if a relative or young person needs some supplies to use and abuse, then I'd pick up a pack. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see and you want to see more, I have plenty of other videos on pencils, paper, and the wider analog. And Wooden Graphite is supported by the wonderful folks on my Patreon. For just two pounds a month, you can support the channel and get the inside scoop on what I'm using, writing, and thinking about. Wooden Graphite, the number two pencil-based video channel on the internet. That's a pun. I drew it. I drew it earlier. Did you? I, I did the. I did the graph like it's an H. It's not an HP. It's a number two. See that? Because it's. It's a joke about it. I'm not number.